Happy Friday. You made it. It's a snow day for a lot of people. Yeah, nice day for a lot of people. Be careful out there on those roads. They are getting a little tricky out there, so just be careful. So if you're home on your couch watching Great Day Connecticut, it's a great place to be. We're wearing red today because it's Go Red for Women Day, raising awareness for heart disease among women, and number have, one killer among women. Yeah, which I, I, I realized. A lot of people think it's something else. I, I learned else. that from being here at Channel 3. I mm -hmm. was like, oh, I, really, I didn't realize. That. I thought it was breast cancer, yeah. but it's not. It's heart disease. Heart and we have disease. a woman on the show today who um, got, she's, she was saved. She, you know, she, right, for some preventative screenings. So we're going to talk about uh, things you need to know for your loved ones and for yourself just to make sure that your ticker's good. I have never heard of Galentine. Galentine's? Yeah, Galentine's Day. What, what is that? That's what, like when you what, go out with the gals. Galentine's well, Day. I guess that's why maybe I've never heard of it. <laughs> I, I, it's, fe it's February what, 13th? 13th. Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay, so then you have oh. your Valentine's yeah. Day for the Valentine. Now, it's a little bit interesting because February 13th is a Saturday night, and I know a lot of the restaurants are, people are going out on Saturday night with their loved ones for Valentine's Day. So then Galentine's Day, I'm not sure if that becomes Friday night. Like, if you're married, do you go Friday, Saturday with the husband and Friday with the girls? or Is there Broentine's Day? There must be something. There's got to be where all the guys go out together and hang out. Oh, that's called the Super Bowl, which is on the <laughs> Sunday. There you go. Yes, so anyway. that's the guy's day, Sunday. All right. Well, give your mail carrier a hug today. <laughs> For sure, especially on a day like today, right? Oh, terrible. But it is uh, thank a mail carrier day. And even on days like this, they still show up for work. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So, uh, so just... organized mail service started in 1775, and Benjamin Franklin was the first postmaster general. I did not know that. Stamps were invented in 1847. Yeah, and the first zip code in America was 06105. No, I'm totally <laughs> making that up. That's <laughs> but I didn't code. realize zip codes, they say, have only been around since 1963. So basically, they're about as old as you. Like, we didn't have zip codes before then? I guess not. That's pretty interesting. Like, what? Yo, I don't know how they just got, I don't know how they mail. I don't know how they you got the mail. just put an address with no code, I guess? Were there not that many people in the United States? How do they figure it all out? <laughs> I guess I have to go by town and by state and then by town and then by road. But there are, like, there's uh, the same Main Street in every town. How do they know which Main Street it was? I don't know. Pretty but interesting. Apparently codes are very new. All right, so. Oh, wait, we're getting official. Ag Agawam Mass was the first official zip code. Oh. 01001. 01001. Thank you, Ernie. 01001. Is that really the zip code there? Yep, it's invented by someone from Agawam. It was invented by someone from Agawam. That's cool. There you go. <laughs> I'm learning. All right, so Jeff Bezos oh is, God, is so crazy. in the middle of a little bit of a controversy. So apparently someone is requesting to dismantle a bridge to allow a super yacht that's reportedly owned by Jeff Bezos to get out from being built. And um, so they would dismantle it. Now, to be fair, whoever wants this done is promising to put it right back and build it better. Oh. So, you know, just take it out so I can get my super yacht, and then I'll give you a better bridge. Now, don't you think that they would have built the yacht in a place where they could get the thing out? Like, or do they just keep adding on in addition? I mean, I guess it's sudden, just so big that... It's massive. Look at the size of that yacht, Kara. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I've, I've, I've been on cruise ships that are smaller than that. That is ridiculous. Well, there you he go. Has, he has a lot of money, doesn't he? He does. He's got you know, a lot it's of actually money. reminding me. I told you I'm watching the show Billions on Netflix. It's reminding me of that when acts like he's like, you know, okay, I think I'll just build a giant yacht and it takes him like forever. And, and yeah. that's it. Yeah. Well, he's. Got a bit. He's, he's just, okay. You know, what? Do, what am I going to do? What are you going to do? Other than build this yacht? Why, no. why wouldn't I do that? Build a yacht. Build a yacht. <laughs> All right. Uh, unfortunately, Susan Sarandon is in a bit of hot water. Yeah, so this is all, some law enforcement agencies are really coming down hard on her. They're reacting to, she shared an anti-police social media post. And it was a picture of a lot of officers standing in a line to honor a fallen officer. And she is being criticized because she compared the picture and the tweet to fascism. What, is, what, what could, what could, it was a funeral for a fallen officer. What could she be thinking? I, I don't I don't get the whole I don't get the whole thing. Yeah. So, you know what? She just sometimes needs to. Uh, well, in the, 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 from the Police Benevolent Association of the city in New York wrote, this is what privilege looks like. Mm -hmm. A wealthy actress safe in her bubble, mocking heroes and making light of the crisis that cops are battling alongside our communities. NYC is uniting to stop the violence at Susan Sarandon is living on a different planet. Well, there you have it. Okay. The Biden administration is working to make school lunches healthier. The U.S. Department of Agriculture is issuing new nutrition standards for milk, 
whole grain, and sodium. So schools will be allowed to offer flavored low-fat 1% milk, but 80% of the Doesn't grains that look have good, to be... Cara? I mean, Doesn't that look it's good? It's really like... What is that green stuff? I mean... Is they, that a potato? I don't remember having a baked potato. Me when either. I either. Uh, but anyway, so they're, I think it's good that they're doing this. I mean, you know, if you look at American lunches compared to around the world, I mean, some of our stuff is unidentifiable. I mean, I, I grew up eating the pizza and the tater tots, but I, that's Friday, not good. Friday was pizza day. I used to stand at the end of the line to get the burnt pizza. Tell me you weren't one of those kids who brought the tuna fish to school uh every now and then i did no bring no you gotta sit at a table by yourself and <laughs> they bring that's tuna fish I sat at like a table i still have mem i still have memories of that which is why i'm like i'm not gonna sit next to you when you have the tuna i didn't do it in fifth grade <laughs> i think i didn't know i used to stand at the end of the line and get the last piece of pizza it was always burnt and they would charge really they would reduce it from a dollar to 10 cents if it was burnt so i would get the burnt pizza and i love burnt pizza Oh, so were you trying to save the money? No, no, I was trying to, well, trying to save the money and, like you know. you were going to pocket the extra absolutely. money that your parents well, gave you? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, so it, was, it all worked out. I really liked tater tots because they were warm. Oh. Well, <laughs> Jamie Callie, our executive producer, is very excited about Southwest Flights adding booze back to the uh, crew. Yeah, so this is happening. Southwest Airlines is adding booze back to the flight. So it will happen on February 16th. And Jamie believes that this is in part because it is her, her birthday, birthday that day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so, you know, during the pandemic, they kind of reduced all the offerings of drinks on board. You know, right, you just we have your... to add that she's also flying on Southwest next month. Yes. Yes. So after that, the fact. So after the fact. She will so be allowed to have a cocktail if she wants. She's very excited that they're adding alcohol. So she'll be, you know what, I, a flight isn't a flight without a cocktail. So I'm, I'm with you, Jamie. You know, you got to get on board, have a nice uh, vodka cranberry. But they actually sell cran apple. On okay. the, on, it's not a true cranberry. It's like a cran apple. Yeah. So, I, but that's fine. I'll take it. It's delicious. <laughs> it's delicious. I might never get off the plane if I had a cocktail on it, so I just don't. Carol <laughs> <laughs> so. will be one of those unruly passengers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably one of those annoying people. Can I have some hot tea? Can I have some? I, I brought my own tea bag. Can I have a cup of water, please? <laughs> All right. Thank you, Miss. Uh, thank you, Miss House. All right. So there's. A, I, I will often travel with my own chocolate, and there's some bad news for chocolate lovers. I don't think it's going to affect any of us. Hershey's raising the prices. Like everything else, the price is going up. There's inflation that's hitting chocolate right now and so they're increasing prices to offset higher costs right so your candy is going to cost a little bit more yeah but they said that they've raised the prices in the past and people did not even jump no they chocolate is like recession proof yeah it's customers uh, when, accepted when the it. world is like going badly people still want their chocolate beloved, if not more so beloved treats like reese's and kit kats are still going strong retail sales for the company's top brands grew more than 12 percent last year that's yeah, well, people were home no more, one, and they needed a little happiness, so they bought more chocolate. No one cares about a price rise when it comes to chocolate. I'm just saying, it's like gasoline and milk. You need it. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, absolutely. You just stole some from my desk before the show. I certainly did. Actually, it wasn't stolen because you asked permission. I did ask. Wasn't I good? Yeah, you did, yeah. I, was, I looked at that box, and I said, this is some chocolate. I had a lovely Paris box desk. of Bridgewater chocolates on my desk, so thank you to Copper Beach, who sent some our way, and I thought, I, I really don't need to eat that all by myself yes, anyway. Yes, I will be more than happy to help you. Okay. All right, so you're going to also pay more money for your Amazon Prime membership. It's unclear if this is related to Jeff Bezos' yacht, but it's going to cost more. <laughs> I think you're absolutely right. The subscription price is going up 20 bucks. I mean, I can remember when it was under 100. Now it's going to be $139 a year. And the monthly version will cost you $2 more. So they're expanding the service. They say it's because they now give you more, like Prime Video and same-day shipping. It's another thing. You just got to pay it. You know what I mean? And well, if I think want, they, this is what all these businesses started is they got you hooked and they then you can't you live without it. Right. So then they raised the price. I'm sure net, like Starbucks we talked about yesterday, that price is going up. I'm sure Netflix is going to be going up. Nef Every, Netflix just went up. Oh, it just went up? Mm -hmm. I think we talked about that too. Yeah. All right. All right. Now, a photographer in Hawaii says he feels lucky to have captured a beautiful moment. You got to take a look at this. It, was, it was, all took place in nature on Wednesday. Uh, it's a whale playing with a dolphin. Oh, uh, look you at this. Look closely, but... Look at it there. Oh, isn't that absolutely amazing? There, see the whale. the The dolphin is kind of swimming over every time the whale does its little spout. It's amazing. Play. It's amazing. I could watch this video all day. I know. It's so oh cathartic. Oh my gosh! Right? Amazing. Renee, wasn't that beautiful? Gorgeous. Absolutely so, gorgeous. It's like a movie. 
It did. It looked like a movie. I, I think that's what we're supposed to do. If you feel sad, just watch that video. All just over. watch it. Google, watch it. Google like whale dolphin playing. Google wonderful, wonderful nature. All right, and here's something wonderful. Yep. The Denise Desenzo Foundation Telethon. It's our first ever, and we're doing this to raise money for the Denise Desenzo Foundation. It was created after Denise's passing, and it supports causes that were near and dear to her heart. And you and I and Renee will be there tomorrow. Join us on TV February 5th, starting at 5 a.m. The three musketeers. They can't separate us. We, we work constantly together, and we're going to work again tomorrow. But and it's not working. It's a labor of love. Yes, and I'm excited because we're going to have, we have already gotten some wonderful sponsorships, so the people have already donated. Great, but we love just all the people who love Denise. They can call in and donate as well. All right, we've got a great show for you today. Up next, grab your girls and celebrate. We've got some great Galentine's Day entertaining ideas. And because the weekend is here, Renee has some great events and, of course, some movie picks. You're watching Great Day Connecticut on your Friday afternoon. We'll be right back.